All right. If you would please say your name and spell it for me. Okay. My name is Leoris M for Mercedes. Okay. But I just use the M. Okay. Richardson. J. Okay. Richardson. Could you spell Leoris for us? L E O R I S. Leoris. And Richardson. Could you spell Richardson? R I S. C-H-A-R-D-S-O-N. My maiden name is Jackson. All right. Okay. Well, my name is A.J. Donaldson. I'm from the University of Florida. A.J. Donaldson. Okay. Do you know Reverend J.D. Johnson? No, ma'am. Okay. All right. All right. Very good minister. Used to pastor here a long time ago. Oh, really? Mm, He lived up on the hill. He pastors out from Gainesville and another church. I forgot the name of it. Okay. His name was Reverend Johnson? No, yeah, his name is Reverend, uh, oh, what, uh, what is, it'll come to me before, his, his first name. Uh, okay. So I have a question for you is, you know, when and, um, when and where or where were you born? I was born in Bland, Florida. Bland, that's out from Malato. Okay. Florida. Bland, Florida? Mm-hmm. Oh, how far? Is that north or south? East? It's no- north. North, north of Alachua. Uh-huh. It's about uh, seven miles out. Okay. Mm-hmm. And um, was that, about what, when was that? Do you, you remember? When? When you were born. I, I was born? Yeah. Sure, I remember September. September? <laughs> September 22nd. Oh, mm-hmm. my sister's birthday is September 22nd. She is a sweet person. <laughs> okay. A beautiful, sweet person. Uh, 1933. All right. You may see it, 32, but this is 33. It doesn't matter. The, that sure, year sure. doesn't make the difference. 32, 33. Okay. Okay, okay. Um, who were your parents? Let's talk my parents them. was, yeah. they called my dad S.B. for Samuel. Oh, S.B., okay. And okay. name was Samuel? Okay. No, Samuel. Samuel. With an I. With an I, okay, okay. okay. Samuel Jackson. Okay. <laughs> and he had a, a, a father, a dad, I mean not father, mm-hmm. a brother named okay. Samuel. I'm sorry. Oh, you had a brother named Samuel. Yeah. Okay. He lived with Jackson all the time. We had, had a Samuel and Samuel. Okay. That was my uncle and my dad. Okay. My mom's name was Mary. Mom was Mary? Mary Cherry. Mary Cherry, Okay. <laughs> So her last name Jackson as well? Well, she was married to my, yeah, but she was a cherry before. But just say Mary, you know. Cherry, sure. okay. Uh, Mary Jackson. She was married to my dad, so Mary Jackson. That was her husband and wife. They called my dad S.B. Okay. So where did Richardson come from? That's my husband. I oh, married. you married. Okay, okay. Yeah, I'm sorry. Got out of high school and... Went to uh, went to University of Florida. What did your um, parents do for a living? Farm. They were farmers. Yeah, my dad sells in the school off, and my sister. I'm the youngest of of, of, of four girls. Oh, okay. And two boys. It was six of six children. Were you the youngest of the two brothers as well? I'm the youngest of all of them. Of all of them. All, the, all of the six. And you the sixth one. Did y'all grow up on the farm? Yeah, well, or they worked we helped with it, but we you didn't helped. live on the farm all the time. But we we were we knew we were farmers' children, but we didn't live on the farm all the time. Were they originally from Bland, Florida? My dad was from Branford, uh, but anyway, they're from Malato in this area. Okay, Bonnie, come on through, baby. Okay. Um. Now, I was wondering if they owned any property in this area. Yes, uh, Bonnie, he may want to interview you. You hear me? Uh, okay. No, that's fine. I was wondering, did they, did they own any property around yeah, here? Yeah, I didn't blend. They had a farm. My dad oh, owned a farm. Oh, they had a farm. Mm-hmm. Okay, they owned it and worked yeah, on it. Yeah. Farm. Okay, what kind of products or, um, did they produce? Oh, tobacco was the main one of the main products, and we grew, you know, other veggies, you know, yeah. beans and peas and 
that type of stuff. Okay, okay. And were there a lot of black businesses in town like that? No, we were we were on a farm. We were yeah. out in the country. Out in the like, country. I mean, yeah, that's a countryside. But uh, the closest um, you talk about, you said cities or town. This was the closest. We lived approximately. Uh, do you know anything about this area? No, ma'am. Okay, well, I, I can't say. I was say if you know anything about the Bland area, that crossroad out there was mm -hmm. we were living near that. Oh, okay, and, uh, okay. Our farm was uh, directly west of where we lived, going mm -hmm. back towards High Springs. Okay. Uh, and the farm was over there. Okay, okay. So you grew up on the farm, and then you eventually went to school at the University of Florida. Yeah, first of all, I went to Bethune Cookman College. Oh, okay. So After let's start with elementary. Where'd you go for elementary? <laughs> ACT, Alachua Elementary. And it was a combination of a lot of the schools were together. So uh, it was a lot of, I went to elementary school out in Bland. Okay. And an old. That was ACT? No, no, no. Oh. It was an old building. An old, well, I just said, I went to school out in Bland. Okay. Elementary. Bland, okay. In elementary. Um, F.E. Welch was okay. my teacher. Who is now uh, he was a, well a professor in this area? He's still a, a professor person. now. No, he's retired. He's retired. His wife, he and his wife belongs here. His wife taught all of us music oh, in high school. Oh, is that Miss Welch? Yeah, oh. Thelma Welch and her husband. Thelma taught us in uh, yeah. high school and in. Uh, Um, yeah, she taught us music, and I was just trying to think of what grade she started teaching me, but it was like in about uh, before high school. She taught us in high school, and then, but I knew her during the time I was in high, in a high school, you mm -hmm. know, but then uh, she taught us, Ms. Welsh taught us all the basics of music. Wow. Yeah, she did. She started off with <laughs> teaching us. Things that they, I don't know if they teach kids that or not. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, she taught, it's like Herbert and my son and all of them, she, she taught them all. Uh, she started off with that do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, do. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> you remember that, don't yeah, you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I don't think, I don't think uh, teachers, music teachers do that now. Uh -huh. uh, but we, we learn all the basic stuff, mm -hmm. and I'm, I'm so happy that she taught us that way. And, uh, mm -hmm. her, her husband, Furman Welch, was my first grade teacher. Oh, at the elementary in Bland. Didn't, I didn't Bland. Okay. He taught me in first grade. Yeah, he also taught my sisters, but I was the one that, I was the youngest and he taught me in first grade. We walked to school and he would stop by and make sure that the prisoners and people didn't bother us because before we got to school by walking, mm -hmm. there was a big prison camp over on our right, going past the church, going out that way. But he would take care of us. He took care of the school kids and people who had to walk that way. Uh, he would uh, wait till all the students and you know the girls and everybody. We had a, a pond out there near the school, what we call a schoolhouse pond. Okay. And uh, a lot of people bapt was baptized in that pond. We use it for, it was all purpose pond, I can say. Baptism and school and science, you know, the, yeah. our science teachers would take us to the pond. And, you know, we, yeah. we, we used the basic things that we had to learn. And, you know, as I say to students now, you got everything. And, you know, they don't try. We learn a lot. From that pond pond out there, you know. Yes, ma'am. You know, you know, just I guess it's it's a different day. And mm -hmm. no sense in me talking about it. Now, it's, was this in Mebane or Mebane and Ogden? Your uh, high school? Did you go to high school in Mebane? I went to high school at uh, Mebane. Mebane, okay. Mm -hmm. And you left there and went to BCC Bethune, Bethune Cookman. Cookman, okay. Mm -hmm. And then I also went to the University of Florida. 
Okay, but you started off at Bethune Cookman. I sure did. All right. Hallelujah. <laughs> oh, what'd you study there? My my what what was my major? Yes, ma'am. Biological sciences. Okay. And then you studied that at University of Florida mm -hmm, as well? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right. Now you mentioned Miss Welch. Was she a director in the church? Was she the she music? She was the music teacher in the public school and she directed us here. Everybody knew her. Okay. She was a she loved music and she knew music. Yes. You know, yes. and then she taught us music. And it was just wonderful how that she was dedicated to us and you know, yes. all the little things that she probably didn't have to do, but she taught us. Yes, yes, yeah. She had four boys. Uh, Herb no Herb nobody, but uh she had those four boys and she taught those boys. She took them under her wing and uh, made them into a group that everybody knew. She carried them all around. And yeah. Out, all around Florida, out of Florida. Those were her four boys. That old welcome, Reginald Smith was my boyfriend. And, okay. Uh, George uh, uh, Richardson. Uh, all of these were her four boys that she taught. Had her four boys. All right. And... All of them attended this church? Now, some of them. Some of them. But uh, we had John Broom, which, which was the bass, and Ted Welcome was the uh, was the uh, tenor. Oh, they and sang. All that. Oh, they yeah. sang. She cared. She trained her boys, and she carried them around. We had a good time. Yeah, it was yeah. Just, well, people were interested in us, and then they didn't have kids. We didn't care. We cared. Yeah. We wanted to be the best. Yeah. And I never will forget when we competed in Gainesville. Boy, we wanted to win, and we, mm -hmm. we had uh, three other schools to, you know, be in a category. It was good. It was, yeah. Boy, it was a good time. I wish kids and people were interested like that now. Yeah. We got kids who can, can do and can do, you know, they have the talent. Yeah. But they don't want to do nothing, you know. So, with the with the um, talent, did this talent come from the community? The what people, she had? the okay, talent sure, that she had. Sure, sure. Well, uh, we had, oh, uh, let's see, three, we had Welcome and Broom. About three of them, three of them came from this church. Mm -hmm. She taught, she played the piano and organ. Uh, and uh, we had uh, one other boy, but he was from... Uh, down St. Luke, the church, the AME church right across over there. Mm -hmm. But we, we just all worked together and she trained us together and we enjoyed ourselves. I can say that was a good thing. I remember a time uh, if somebody didn't have something to one of our group, we'd get together and put our little money together and help yeah, us get it. Yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. It was, it was a good time. People, mm -hmm. people just wasn't so selfish and didn't care, but we worked together. Yeah. I must say that. We our our principal was Elma Bain, that's where that name came from. Oh, Elma Bain? A L Me Bain. Oh, A L Me Bain. Uh-huh. Uh, this was the high school, right? That was the high school. Herb went to it and all of us went to Elma Bain. Uh -huh. Were there any other black churches around this area? Churches, one right across the street. Okay. That's at the AME Church. And it's a, right on, you can't see it, but it's right on that next dirt street. That was a holiness church. Mm -hmm. And one right down there was a holiness church. Uh, the AME Church is across the street. Mm -hmm. So, but we were surrounded by churches. But, sure. But uh, it was uh, a church that was, have, uh, we had, we had people here of, of talent, as I can say that. I don't like to brag about it. We did have people here with talent. Yeah. You know. So what what was the original name of this church? What it is now, Paradise. It was Paradise? Methodist, Methodist Church. Paradise Methodist Church. Yeah. We wasn't united. We, 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 didn't, we didn't use because we were not united at that time. Oh, okay. And that came later. Okay. Mm -hmm. And have were you going here at this? Were you attending the church at the time that it went? United. United? Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So when was that? Oh, Lord. 
excuse me a minute, Herb, excuse me. Yeah. When did we go united? Sixty eight when we, we ju yeah. Yeah. We, when okay. we, we all uh oh, nineteen sixty eight. Uh -huh. hush Stanley thought big was say. Oh mm -hmm. uh, we uh, united with all the supposedly all the white churches in all of Cambia, that's where the United came from. Oh. But we were just known as Paradise Methodist Church. What stimul what what encouraged that? United. United. What made this church go join United from Paradise? Church? It was because of uh, this came from a district something where they all wanted to get together and become as one, which they you know something that they should have done. But uh, that's when our so it wasn't ministers, it wasn't Methodist at first. It, it was just per it, it wasn't. It church. was just Methodist. Methodist Paradise, but not United. Right. Okay. Uh, and who was the pastor at this time? Oh my goodness, we we changed pastors. I I can't think of all of them. Oh, uh, let's see. I joined this church under Reverend. I don't know. He's have you know they changed pastors in these churches, mm -hmm. but I changed under. I, mean, I came here under Reverend Pierce, A. L. Pierce. That's how when I joined the church. Uh, when was that? Do you remember? Uh, I joined the church. Let's see how old I was. Oh, uh, then I can kind of think back. Uh, I was coming here when I was in high school. So, and I graduated from high school in '51. So, I don't know. It's so long. That's all right. So you graduated in Maine in '51. No, I graduated from a lot of not Maine now. Number bang, okay. I graduated from Alachua County training school right up on the hill. Okay. That's that was before we got uh Mabane. Oh before it was okay. Alachua County Training School. Prof A. L. Mabane was the principal. Everybody knew him. All and him. and that's yeah. what that's who Mabane was named after. Mm -hmm. Okay. Was this a teaching school, the training school? Yeah, it, it, they taught uh, from uh, ninth. Uh, I'm just trying to think which school are you referring to. Um, the training school. A lateral County Training School. Yeah, Lateral County Training School. Uh, ACT. They went from we went. Hey, you heard? Didn't we go? We had ninth grade in at Elma Bay, didn't we? Elma Bay. Then we started with ninth grade. What? Did we have kindergarten up at? Yeah. Okay. So that was a high school. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Not really. <laughs> so what I I'm trying to I think I got it. <laughs> what huh? I'm trying to gather is the relationship that the schools in the community had with the church and how centered the church was. To oh yeah, they they had a relationship. Um, mm -hmm. Prof. Mabane and all of them went here. They went here. Okay, okay. Uh -huh. So a lot of the teachers went here. And the other church, the church was a little closer. Now Herb knows had a church mm -hmm. uh, in High Spring and they still had it. The reason why Herb became part of us, what I mean part of us, mm -hmm. was in our we all knew him. Miss Welch had four boys, and Herb was one of the boys that sang, and he still sings now. Oh, okay. Uh, but Miss Welch trained him, and he had uh, three other guys. It was Welcome is Welcome, George, and who else uh, was in that group? Yeah, Johnny or Broom. That old Welcome. Who? I say Reginald. I say Reggie. Reginald Smith. No, no. Reginald Smith was my first boyfriend. And uh, George Richardson. Yeah, yeah. It was George and Welcome. And boom, that was the four boys that Miss Wells trained. Okay. That was her boys. I tell you, she loved them and she carried them around. And, uh -huh. and they sang everywhere. Yeah. But how old were they? They were they were in high school. High school. 
They may have started in junior high, but they were in high school. And they sang in the choir here as well? They sang here. Uh, Welcome was a member. Reginald was a member between the two churches because his mom went down to St. Luke. But we were all together. You know how we from one church to the other? When they get out, if they get out of their church early, they'll come over here. And that's just the way we did. It was a fellowship between St. Luke over there, the AME Church, uh -huh. and Paradise. We've always worked together. But it was back then. They don't do it now. I mean, kids are different. It was a St. Luke. That was the name of the church across the street. Yeah, St. Luke across the street. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, were you, were you around when they... Or were you familiar around the time they built this church? Mm -hmm. Do you remember that? Yep. So who helped build the church? What who you were mean, some, who helped build it? Who were some of the people involved with the Oh, they, some of them did, but then the United, uh, the Methodist Church, I mean, we applied for some funds from them. And then the, um, the other thing is that uh, the members and local people, that's where the money came from. From the community? Our the other, uh, members of the community. Members of the community. Of the church. Okay. Of our church. Then we applied to, uh, back then we had, and they still have it now, the United uh, Methodists, that they will uh, help with funds. Okay, okay. Now, when I ask these questions about the church and the relationship that it had to the community, I guess my concern is trying to figure out at what point did the United Church benefit Paradise Church? How did it benefit? How this? did being you see it wasn't always united. This came from the conference. Okay, the United so Methodist the conference. Church, and so we are a part of that. So when they be, they merged, they became united. That's when we became United Methodist. Okay, okay. Three churches merged together. Three, three churches. Yeah. Mm. Three. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. And then from there, this church went into that. Right. This, this church um, and all the other churches, because the black churches were PME churches. Just, you not, just Methodist Episcopal churches. Oh, I see. I see. And there was another church that was Unitarian, 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 church that was Unitarian, 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 Methodist church, and then there was a the regular Methodist church. And the three groups got together. And that's I see, I see, I see. All right, and what about the story that I'm hearing about there being a deed involved? A deed involved. Now, yeah. I, I don't deal with that. I okay. don't like to talk about it and go back there because half the people talking about it now, they don't know. Sure, sure, you understand? sure, sure, sure. So you don't, I don't get caught up in that, the deed. I understand. Now, what about the deed? We had, the, we got the deed, the church was built. And so all of a sudden, in the later years, mm -hmm. they start talking about a deed, a deed. We, we couldn't have built without a deed. Mm -hmm. Now, the people who gave us and helped us with that, dead and gone. Mm -hmm. Out of Lewis and, and all of those people, Mr. Burgess, all those people are going on. Now, all this junk they kind of dig up now, I don't even know nothing about it. And I don't try to get in it. I'm sorry. Uh, no, I understand. I understand. Mm -hmm. They gave black preachers, they offered them retirement, mm -hmm. uh, you know, benefits that, he, that they weren't getting in the, you know, when we were out there by ourselves. So that was the reason, that, that's, what, that's what drew them in there. Mm. Uh, they were going to get them better, uh, uh, better things. Right, yeah. right. So that's how they had now, I, don't know that, I didn't know anything about the deeds either. Because uh, we can't even find the deeds from my church. Well, back then, but I don't know where the deeds are to this one, but we had deeds heard, but I don't know where they are. Okay. All right. I don't know, but then Andrew says somewhere in the clause that says that they only built it. Who owned the building? Who owned the building? Yeah, the church owned the church. How they own it? I guess y'all gave it to them. Well, they gave it to the church. How they own it? I guess y'all gave it to No, we ain't give them nothing. All right. So. Dealing with um, this church and looking at it, how it related to the community, do you remember any instances of racism that you can identify with? Mm. We've, you know, we've been pretty lucky. We've had 
uh, Caucasians to come and worship with us. And, uh, but I don't remember any racist. Hey, y'all. Uh, yeah. We haven't, you know, as we were saying, we haven't had any racism around. Have we? we? We've been pretty lucky with that. We've been pretty lucky with that. We haven't had any racism. You know, like people want to come in and raise hell. Um, I was asking if there was been any senses of racism. Racism around us. As, yeah. it, as it relates to the church and the community and dealing with other possibly white congregations. No, we've been pretty lucky. As I said, we haven't had that. Okay. Okay, we'll get to uh, Miss Welch. I I personally take care of that. No, let me. Um, she gets her finished, and he's yes. going. Where is she? Okay, okay. He's going to have to go to her house. Yeah, we'll have to go to her house, uh, or we'll schedule another time where we can. Okay. Well, okay. Uh, uh, Gail would know if uh, about Miss Welch. Yeah. All right. All right. <laughs> so we're going to continue. Um, I just needed to ask a few more questions. Um, what we try to do is try to identify the significance of the church to the community and mm -hmm. wanted to basically ask this program about the boys that are the bad boys yeah. and then also we, what kind of community service that this church provides and want to just we, get an sense feed of... The, we feed the hungry. Yeah. Uh, we do that. Uh, on Saturdays, uh, we've, we've done a lot of things. I just, I'm, I'm just trying to think about. We have a, uh, um, uh, I can't. Yeah, excuse me. What else we do besides feed people on on Saturdays? From way back. Yeah, you need help with housing. Second son. Okay. Okay, okay. Second son, we, we uh, all of them come here. All right, all right. Out of how, how many churches we got? 12? Gail, isn't it 12, 12, 12 churches? Yeah. So, uh, yeah, that's what I said. Who's the current pastor of this church? Uh, the current pastor is uh, Yolanda Godboat. Yolanda Godboat? Mm -hmm. How long has Miss uh, Godboat? Pastor Gumbo been there. I don't know. Hey, has she been here about two years or three years? Five. Five. She been here that long? <laughs> I didn't think she was here that long. Okay, so where does the pastor come from? Do they? Different places. Different places? Uh huh. The one we have now is from Gainesville. She lives in Gainesville. And do you guys vote on her, or did that come down? No, from they the sent United? us from a uh, conference. Okay. Annual conference, we don't vote on the pastors they send. They send you pastors from the uh, annual conference. Okay. And uh, whether you like them or not, we, we have to keep them a year alone. So there's no, like, board of trustees within the church? We have board of trustees, but they can't say to who to send. We all can agree that we don't want them or yeah, we don't like yeah. them, but we have to keep them. So long. Yeah, we got tr trustees. And okay. All of okay. That. And when is this conference coming up? The next one. When is our annual conference? Eleventh. The sixteenth and seventeenth. That'd be different places. Where is it going to be this year? Down in in Orlando. Oh, okay, okay, okay. And I'm just curious to know exactly how many members would you say this church has? Now, on the book, I, I can count them. We have more than what are 10 every Sunday. Now, you know that. Mm -hmm. We have approximately uh, 
Oh my goodness, I didn't count about. I would say around 45 or something like that or more. More than that on the book. Okay, okay. 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 And do you have a full choir, pianist, and people who we actually... We have a, a music teacher who taught us in high school is our pianist. We also have another person who plays for us. Uh, we had a choir and a junior choir, a regular choir, a junior choir, but they all don't participate now. It, I don't even want to talk about the last few months. People just been being... Black people just been being black people off mm -hmm. the record. You know what I'm saying. I understand. I they understand. get mad with somebody and uh, get upset because they didn't know. Uh, they something the pastor may say, and, it's, and she's a woman. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, somebody can say something. And they don't have to always mean what they say. And uh, they have problems. But some of us, we still hold on, you know. Mm -hmm. Call that Gail and Margaret, all of them been here. They know how, down through the years. What you doing, Gail and Margaret? Okay, whatever. Uh, I don't know what that is, but then, you know, we've had some wonderful ministers. I don't know if you know or uh, familiar with any of them. Mm -hmm. uh, we've had uh, good leadership, and uh, we got the other thing I'm proud of we have a lot of uh, intellectual people here. Uh, who have a little bit of sense now? When you when you dealing with people who can't understand, you know that could be that could be a, a, a something else. Can be, you can be dealing with hell. Yeah. Uh, but but you got people in you know, intellectual people that we deal with that got a little bit of sense. And what is it that you do now? What, what are, I do now yeah, since I retired. You retired. Since I retired from Santa Fe uh, College uh, three years ago, almost three. And now, it's sort of, I mean, you've been working in the school system for that many years. And, yeah. And uh, I left the public school system, went to Santa Fe. Okay. When it was uh, uh, junior college, I would say. But uh, I worked there until December of last year. Oh, congratulations. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They didn't want me to go. They called me. But I, I think when I done put in 30-some years here and... 10 over here and all that. It's time for me to stop. Time to I'm, go. I'm up in age. Okay, okay. Now, are there a lot of educators that go yeah. to church here? Yeah. And they teach a lot of the people in the community. Yeah, they were. Yeah, that's one thing that a lot of people didn't want. You know, you know our black people. Yeah, all them teachers over there and all that, all them educated people. But that, people don't act like, what, what? I don't understand what they mean when they don't want to come and be with you. They learn. But we had a lot of teachers. We had principals here, teachers here, and still, still got some. Yeah. But I'm just saying that was people. And uh, why people don't want to be around? They, they need to, we used to say if you go rub your head up against the school wall, yeah. you may learn a little something. If you don't do nothing but rub your head. Yeah. But, uh, but anyway, we, we had a lot of uh, teachers coming here and that type of thing. Okay, okay. And uh, just a couple more questions, if you don't mind. Um, do you think of any, like, involvement that this church may have had with the civil rights movement? Well, yeah. Were you involved in a way or well, yeah. people you we, knew? We all was, well, I can say not we all, I'm talking about the people who normally work with the civil rights. So we have had people to meet here. And we have worked with civil rights people and... Uh, some of them marched, you know, mm -hmm. some of the people. And we, 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 we are the type that is involved in that type of thing. And they come here. We have had different uh, uh, people to come and speak and uh, come to church here or whatever. Oh, okay. we, we always into that. That's part of us politically. And, yeah. Yeah. What is what are the one of the most uh, profound memories that stand out about the involvement with civil rights? And you know, is there any incidents or events that you can think of that the church particularly participated in, or that mm. you participated in? Oh Lord, I miss you. We mm. participated because we have marched, because we been up there and come down the highway and all that. Mm -hmm. Gail, 
Yale. Yale. Huh? What? What? Um, and Herbert, you know it too, because if, if we did it, you all know about it. They all was helping us. Uh, what uh, political events that we were involved in? Uh, I think that's not the way he asked it, but similar. Yeah, like civil rights activities or any type of events that where the church was a part of. You or all you guys. Here. Herb knows there's a program here. That this church or members of the church may have been involved in an issue that was pretty big around here. Y'all think back now. I can only think. We. Just something to think about. Yeah. Yeah. What? Okay. Reverend who? Oh, yeah. But anyway. Uh, Were there meetings here? Yeah, we have had meetings here. Okay. Asking what? What we, what, listen, I, I want to put it, I'll leave it like this. We are an open church. We are involved in the political part of church. We try to, you know, work with all the agencies, if we can, black and white. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know what else we can do, but you okay. know, we are involved yeah. with the community activities and that type of thing. Okay, okay. And just one more question. Can you think of any other members or past members who you think we should speak with that could possibly help us, you know, go forward and build our understanding of the oral history of this church? Miss Welch is one, mm. and I see they're very knowledgeable. Do you know what are the names? The, this this man here. And Talking about Herbert. Yeah, Herbert is not a, a member, but he's he's not a member, but he's here and he's worked with us down through the years. He is a United Methodist person. Okay, Herbert. But his what's, church home is in High Springs, but he know about it. What's his name, Herbert? Jones. 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 Okay, and the lady behind him. I don't. Who is that behind you? Gail. You said Gail. That? Uh -huh. Gail, Gail Jones, and who else? Uh, Westerns, I mean, West, I'm not, not Western, but West, Mr. and Mrs. West, West, mm -hmm. I want to say West, and Stan Richardson. Okay. And who else, who else was here? Who else should we talk to that may not be here? Uh, who else we think would be good to talk with? Gail? Who else you think we should talk to? Who? Oh, I thought you said Joan. Huh? Okay. When we merged with the, with the white churches. Who was it? You may want to speak to him, Reverend J.D. Johnson. Did you hear who else they saying? Okay. And you said Reverend Fergus? Fergus. Fergus. He's dead. He's passed. Okay. Mm -hmm. What about Reverend Johnson? You live up here. Okay. He's, he's up on the hill that passed the school. Okay. Uh huh. Well, J.D. Johnson. J.D. Johnson, okay. And he's still pastoring. All right. And I don't know who else we, we should say. Come on up here, Gail. I can't hear you from back now. <laughs> Gail. Yeah. Yeah, so one more question. Yeah, we'll get to that in a moment. Um, I just wanted you to possibly give me an idea of what you want to say that we didn't cover and some things that are, you know, think, you think are important to the, this conversation of trying to capture the history of this church and how it's important to the community and why it shouldn't be possibly shut down or closed for any other reasons. Is there anything you would like to say? Uh -huh. The thing I would like to say, I probably wouldn't want it on, on there. But uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I feel that this church has been here Mm -hmm. And I think back uh, about our forefathers who have worked and the men and women, how they cook and sew, mm -hmm. 
cakes and pies and everything to keep and pay the pay the you know whatever we had to pay from a financial standpoint. We did all of that mm -hmm. and down through the years. We have been a very viable church. I mean, we it's nothing that we needed that we couldn't do. And then when the younger uh, ones came along, we all worked together. We always try to help our young people. Mm, I see. So we work together. Yes. And we try to help our youth. And uh, many of our children have gone on to college. And we're very proud of that. We haven't had, and we talk about it sometimes among ourselves, we, they don't, we don't have them uh, in jail or have gone to pr prison or anything like that. And we are thankful for all those little things that people don't normally think about. Uh, our families sort of work together. Uh, we may not know you when you first come, but we do have young people, and we've had uh, quite a few young men coming in, and that's great. Uh, the good thing about it, we feel open to other churches. You see, Herb is not a member, mm -hmm. but he's here. Those are the kind of people we deal with. Yeah. Herb knows are here. We need something to be done. They don't mind coming in and working with us. We work with them. Okay. So you have to be, be what you say you are, you know, mm -hmm. and that's how I feel. Yeah. Okay. Well, um... I think that's pretty much it for now. Uh, okay. And then the other thing is I, I, I want to emphasize, we have, I hate to say that, but I don't want people to think that I'm being funny, but we have some very uh, intellectual uh, people. And okay, when you say intellectual, what do you mean that by means that? means smart. Pretty good. <laughs> okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. you can use... You, well, all of them are not where I would put them mm -hmm. if I was grading, like I was in classroom. Mm -hmm. But they are most of them. Okay. You know, uh, this, this, this church has had a lot of, when I joined and I've been for way back, they had a lot of teachers, a lot of people, but it was a, a church of intellectual ability, whether they showed it or not. Yes, yeah. But they, if, you, if they had to do it, they could do it. Yeah. You know, it's kind of like, and see, Herb is not a member of this church, but he's here. Yeah. And we asked him, he, uh, the music teacher that taught us, taught him, and she organized a group. So, mm -hmm. you know, it's, so he has four, four, she organized and kept those four guys together. And, uh, two of them were members here, and then Herb was from High Spring, but she had a little full Four guys, and she carried them around to different mm -hmm. places. The music teacher did. We 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 were sort of the envy <laughs> of a lot of things of the of the of the community. Mm -hmm. Okay, all right. But um, but you help the community. Yeah, we. That's what I'm saying. We help. We started our, our food. We started that coming out fixing food and. Feeding the people of the community. We, we do a lot, so many little things, and I can't think of all, but we have. We haven't been a selfish church. Yeah. Okay. We don't mind helping if we can. All right, all right. Well, thank you. We really appreciate that. Yeah.